Welcome to That's Controversial, the weekend wrap-up show from Richard Ayub, the editor-in-chief of RumorFix.com. Hello, Richard. Hi, Swami. How are you? I'm doing well. My name is Swami from Daisy 1170 AM. We're going to talk about the entertainment news, political news of the weekend. Where do you want to start off with, Richard Ayub? Okay, uh, let's talk about this manhunt going on. Uh, it's a very serious situation, and uh, I've lived in Los Angeles for 22 years, and this is the biggest manhunt I have ever seen in Southern California. So this is an ex-police officer who is now suspected of killing three people. Mm-hmm. So the police chief has said he's concerned about this guy because he trained him. So he knows what kind of training he's been through and what knowledge he has of the area, how to, you know, uh, evade police, how to do different things that will keep him on the lam for a while. He uh, issued a manifesto, and in the manifesto he mentioned several celebrities. He mentioned Ellen DeGeneres and Larry David and Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen, who is a big supporter of police, always, he's trying to do what he can to help in this situation, and I don't know if he has the uh, permission with the, of the police department or the endorsement of them, but he put together a tape where he has a direct message to Christopher Dorner And he said, you mentioned me in your manifesto, so thank you for your kind words. I'm urging you to call me. Let's figure out together how to end this thing. Oh, okay. What yeah. do you think about that, Swami? Charlie Sheen is underrated as a human being. I mean, he's known for his uh, antics as far as his uh, alcohol and drug abuse, which is something that um, I understand about because that is a lot of times hereditary, and that's very hard to do. But I hear he's an extremely nice guy. I remember he gave Lindsay Lohan some money, who, and, by the, and Lindsay Lohan never uh, said thank you to him for her debt, which is I think $10,000 he gave her a check. He's very good at helping no, people No, he out. gave her $100,000. Oh, $100,000 check. So this is good. I'm glad that he is helping out the cops. Um, he's probably the first drug addict I've ever known that actually is friends with the cops. Speaking of guns and shootings, uh, our first lady, Michelle Obama, is in Chicago. She attended the funeral of a l- girl, a 15-year-old girl, who was shot and murdered last week. This lady, this actually I shouldn't call her, she's a female, Hadia Pendel- uh, Pendleton, lived in the south side of Chicago, right near where the Obamas used to live, about a mile away from where the Obamas have their house and was murdered by a gang shooting, and she used to, she sang at the inauguration. So the first lady went with Arnie Duncan, who was, of course, the head of education, and Valerie Bar- uh, Barrett, who was her family friend, who's been in the administration since the beginning, to go to the funeral of uh, this young lady. What's your? There's been a lot of criticism from the Tea Party, from the right wing, who say it's none of her business to go there. It's all political, and it's really just... A waste of energy because there's been so many other shootings in Chicago where the president and the first lady, they say, have made no comments about. Well, uh, obviously, the first lady has a connection to this uh, 15-year-old because she did sing at the inaugural with a group of other singers. Um, I don't believe she personally knows her, nor do I believe she personally knows the family. Um, there's also the connection that they're from Chicago. Um, it does appear, because the Obamas are pushing very hard for gun control, that there may be a political motivation to it. It is definitely a sympathetic thing for her to do. It is definitely a thing that is getting the press attention and the attention of the American public, and it is sparking conversation. Um, It will, you know, uh, I'm sure the family appreciates it, even though Secret Service had to attend, and it probably did cause some distractions for people. Um, It will make other parents of victims, shooting victims, 
feel like, why doesn't the First Lady come to our funeral? Why doesn't she care about us? It is setting a dangerous precedent in that area. Of course, the First Lady can't go to every funeral out there. But the timing of that, it does appear to be politically motivated to me. Right. And but is it a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing that the First Lady is showing sensitivity to a teenager who was an innocent victim of a gunshot wound. That is actually a very good thing and a good point you make because they need something like this. I mean, she met with 30 of her best friends. They're probably heartbroken. And they're also heartbroken because, remember, this is not just like the previous case, a shooting that happened. Yeah, I feel bad for those three victims that, you know, this past week with the cop killer. But this happens in Chicago all the time now, downtown Chicago, the south side. So they're dealt with this day in, day out, week in, week out. And here's the thing about the president and first lady. Anything they don't do or they do, they get criticized for. Absolutely. So I give them a big thumbs up for going there, showing support in their city, and showing support for this young lady. I mean, this, I mean, only 15 years old. She sang an inauguration. What a huge, huge, huge success story that is. Coming from a family that's not wealthy, from the south side of Chicago, meeting the first African-American president of the United States of America. And yes, it is politically motivated. You know, okay, so let's just move on yeah. from that. He's you a know? politician. <laughs> Good boy, Hello. He's a politician. <laughs> Hello, he's a politician. <laughs> Speaking of non-divas, who oh, I yeah. really like is that girl from um, Girls, this, this show Girls, Lena Dunham. Uh-huh. She's getting a lot of attention now. She's really becoming huge. She is the writer, creator, director, and actress in Girls. And she just show, sold another show. And this girl is just 26 years old. She's completely and totally brilliant. And there is a controversy involving her. Uh, she, I don't know if you remember, Swami, she appeared in a commercial for President Obama, a campaign mm -hmm. ad for him. Right. And so uh, one of these political blogs did some digging, and they said, oh, my God, what a hypocrite. She didn't even vote in the presidential election. Yeah. And so Lena took the time to explain what happened. So first and foremost, she says she did vote. Mm -hmm. Secondly, she, she said she tried to get an absentee ballot, because our nation's voting system is really challenging. And she said it didn't arrive. So she didn't want to be a martyr about it, but she flew to New York to vote. She wasn't sure her change of address was officially registered, so she went to her old polling place with her dad, where they let her vote with an affidavit, which is allowed. So she absolutely did vote and felt it was crucial to vote in this election. And uh, she took every measure possible. So whatever that political blog thought they found was completely incorrect. And because Lena is such a brilliant writer and storyteller and because she has such a great sense of humor, the Obama supporter joked, obviously I voted for Romney. I hope everyone has a nice day. And also, I have to tell you something. I did not vote because the same thing oh, happened wow. to me. I moved from L.A. to Northern California, didn't do a change of address. You know, didn't, you don't really think about it right away and couldn't do it in, 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 in uh, right timing. They said I have to go back to L.A. and do it there. Okay, so this is a Rumor Fixes wrap-up show on That's Controversial.com. And Richard A.U., the editor-in-chief of Rumor Fix. My name is Swami from Daisy 1170 AM. There's a lot of rumors we need to be fixed, a lot of news we need to talk about. Let's end with something interesting. Let's end on a high note, shall we? Okay, good. Let's yeah. end with what Rumor Fix is. This is a big news um, about health. because You know, I'm a health freak. Jack yeah. Osborne gets stem cell treatments for MS. Good for him. Oh, yeah. This is an interesting story. Uh, Jack Osborne, as you know, uh, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis recently. And he said that, you know, he has good days and bad days. And uh, I don't know if you know anyone who has MS, but I do. And that's definitely the case with MS. 
is that when your days are good, they're really good, but the bad days, you feel either fire on your feet or pin needles in your head. It's really a very painful situation. Oh, is it really? Is it really? You really do feel fire on your feet? Yeah. That's how it's been described to me. Wow. That's horrible. And so uh, Jack says that he is doing some experimental stem cell treatments, and he's leaving for in about two weeks for Germany. And uh, he says it's because people in this country have kind of an odd restriction. That's the way he described it. Right. And so he is going there, and what they do is they clone stem cells from your own blood, the good cells, and then they re-inject them into you. Nice. And so he says the medical procedure can create anywhere from 750 to 1.8 million cells. That's huge. That's good for him. It seems like America sometimes is behind when it comes to alternative medicine or trying out new. We are very good at trying out new technologies. We're very right. good at trying out new weapons. We're very good with trying out you know, new, new TV shows to a certain extent. We're not good with trying out new alternative uh, medicines. We are sort of lacking it seems like India and Germany and, and all these other countries in the East are more uh, acceptable and susceptible to trying new forms of health and healing. Well, I, I agree with you totally. And with Jack talking about this, and this first time I've, I've heard of stem cell treatments for MS, first time I've heard him talk about it, I think that I, for one, will be watching what happens to him and uh, trying to get updates from him because he could single-handedly bring some great awareness to this new treatment and bring it to other people, and maybe he'll become a big advocate. Right. That would be huge. And that's what, uh, that's you know, I think the next big thing, that's where I think the world is going to, is alternative healing, alternative medicine, new ways of being in shape, getting in shape, more for, for the mind, body, and soul. So this is the time to do it. It's time to do it right now. So we wish Jack Osborne all the luck in the world. My name is Swami. You are Richard A.U. from RumorFix.com. That's the weekly wrap-up. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next week from RumorFix.com, and that's Controversial.com. Have a good week, guys.